I hooked the biggest marlin of my life and caught huge dolphin using artificial lures at Tropic Star Lodge. Here we go, I'm gonna tie on a nice fresh gulp here. Gonna cast this for Mahi behind the boat. Loop knot, pull it through, tie in it. Got our perfect gulp right here, look at that. New penny, Davis' favorite color. It just smells good. Oh, sail pushes back, sail pushes back. Oh, he got it, he got it. Oh my gosh, he came out of nowhere. And let's whack him. Oh, he spit it up, spit it up, hold on. Here he comes. Oh, closer, closer, let's get him closer. Come on. Come here, he's right there. Oh, he's got it. Let him eat it. You just keep eating, sailfish. Three, two, and you're mine. Oh, he spit it again, are you kidding me? He actually spit it before I even knew it. He's back, he's back, he's back. He's over there now. That's it, we're gonna throw the gulp at him. Fight, oh my gosh, Mahi. Oh, big Mahi. Oh, he ate the gulp, oh, he's jumping. Look at him go. I want to tangle up here. Oh, he's jumping again. Oh, what a jump. This is a jumper right here, he's gonna jump again. He's just dogging me. Look, look at him in the wave. Oh, wow. There goes the gulp. No. It's maxed out. Ugh, come on. Come on. Gap him. Yes. Woo. Look at that. Another nice mahi mahi on the gulp. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome fight. If you love catching fish on lures, these are one of the best ones ever right here. And they're delicious as well. New penny. Here we go, let's get another one on there. Good work. See the teeth marks on the head? Right there. The leader's got a little bit of nicks on it, but not enough where I'm gonna change it. It's still good. Pretty good. So we're gonna put another gulp back on there. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. Here we go. Sailfish on. Woo! There he's jumping. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh, big sail, big sail. All right, we got leader. There he is. Like a hundred pound sail. You're done for now. Wow. How you doing, buddy? Cut ya. Catch ya. See ya. Woo! We're gonna keep trolling down here. We got two live bonitas out. We're gonna put them back out right now. That was a belly bait. And we're just gonna troll. It's, it's obviously very rough today. So not gonna go too far offshore. It's just gonna get bigger. We're gonna work this area. There's been a lot of bait around here. See if we can find some more sails, maybe some big Dorado, and hopefully, if we're lucky, a big black marlin. Oh, big mahi! Oh, he's jumping! What is he doing? You got him? You got him on, got him on, got him on, got him on, got him on. Woo! On the Berkeley Gulf. Jacob, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Another sailfish? You got the sailfish? Yeah. Nice. All right, you fight the sailfish, I'll catch the mahi. All right, taking line, 4,500 size reel, 15 pound line. This is gonna be a fight. I was trying to get the sailfish to eat, and this perfect gulp was out behind the boat, and the mahi came and ate it. We were trying to get me to belly bait, they didn't want it, but they liked the gulp. Here he is, Ricardo, here he is. Inch out of time, this is super light tackle. Fenwick rod, 15 pound line. 10 to 30, 4,500. That's actually the high speed version. Here we go, here we go, here we go, getting in line. Another mahi, another mahi behind him. Another mahi behind him. Oh my gosh, what a monster for light tackle. Wow. Hey! That's a monster for 15 pound test. Got it, let go. Wow. The Berkeley Gulf is gone. Look at that. On the Berkeley Gulf. I don't know, I'd say he's 15, 20 pounds. Fought unbelievable, unbelievably strong fish. Pound for pound, I'd say they're one of the strongest fish in the ocean. It's amazing. Fish on! Another sailfish on? Oh, we got another sailfish. He's shoving back there. There's a sailfish right here. Oh, it's a mahi! Mahi on, mahi on, mahi on. Big mahi. Nice mahi. Oh, yeah. Carlos, I mean, uh, Ricardo, get, get, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's running hard. 
Oh, he's jumping. Oh, he's like a black mahi. Oh, nice mahi. Might be 20 pounds. Look at that, Ricardo. Nice cow. Heck yeah. Wow, what a fish. Oh, another one right there, another one right there. Okay, let's get this one in the box. Let's get him in the box. Big cow. All right. Oh, got it. Gerardo on, Gerardo on. Yes, on the golf. Oh, 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 it's a big one, dude. Oh, there goes the golf. It just shot out of his mouth. He's getting a show today. He's taking lines. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, look at that. Spooling the reel. This is such an epic fight. Authority 4400 HS, high speed. 15 pound line versus a possibly 30 pound Dorado. This is unreal. Look how, look how blue he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bigger one. Big blue, big blue. Get ready, help Jacob neutral, 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 neutral. Ready? Get him, get him. Yes! Woo! What a fish. Oh my gosh. What a fish on light tackle, hey? Oh, Ricardo, watch out. I'm, I'm gonna grab him, I'm gonna grab him. Hold on. Let me grab him, let me grab him. Look at that fish. Oh! 15 pound test, Berkeley Gulf. What an amazing fish. Look at that. <laughs> Let's get another one. Check the leader. Leader looks pretty good. Wow. The hook is chewed up. While I'm waiting for our next bite, I wanna show you our PVC hats. These things are waterproof, they're incredibly durable. You can get one right now and save 20% using our code PVC20. Another mahi, number, this is number five of the day, which is pretty exciting. Any day you get five big mahi is a good day. Put this on because my body is still weak and pathetic. This might be the biggest fish of the day, I don't know yet. They are getting bigger and bigger. Funny thing is we're going deeper and deeper offshore. And as we go deeper, the mahi seem to be getting bigger. Oh, he's on the line, he's on the line. Oh no. Let me go the line, let me go the line, hold on. There he is. All right, look at that. Number five of the day, mahi mahi. Not as big as the last one. Still a lot of fun. Let's get another one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one. Two sailfish, two sailfish, two sailfish. He's on me, 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 he's gonna eat right now. Oh, he's right here, look, look at him, he's got it. Let him eat it, three, two, one, and. Oh, he gets the cup, gets the cup, got him. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> two sailfish, two sailfish, two sailfish. Oh, he's on the gulp, he's on the gulp, he's on the gulp. Oh my gosh, dude. No way, we got one hooked up. Wait, 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 he's spinning, he's spinning, he's spinning. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's on the gulp. Look, he's on the gulp, he's on the gulp, he's on the gulp. Look, I'm gonna hook two at once, ready? Watch this, watch this, watch, watch, watch. He's gonna go after the gulp. He's got the hit, that one's got that one. Ready? You're a good boy. I think he's saying, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. He's lighting up. Woo! Yes! Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. There he is. Hello, Mr. Sail. How do you do? We touched you and see ya. Bye-bye. All right, I think that's our second sail of the day. We've seen a ton of them. There's a million sailfish out here. Got five mahi. We're gonna get our baits back out. See if we can get some more. You wanna get, you wanna get more? Oh, man, that was crazy. Hold on, Jim. 
Nice and steady, nice and steady. Oh my gosh, look at the reel, look at the reel! That's a seven to get exposed while we're backing up. Oh my gosh. That's epic. Gotta love mono guys, gotta love mono. That stretch is so important when you're fighting a fish like this because that fish could be anywhere right now. You don't know where he is and the stretch is what's keeping the hook in its mouth. The mahi and the sails, this is when the big boys show up right now. This is a monster. Come on. Different kind of animal right here guys. Blue marlin, just marlin in general, big marlin, blacks and blues. It's the real deal. If you haven't caught a black or blue marlin, and you love fishing, you're missing out. You're missing out big time. This is the real deal, I'm telling you. When you see a fish take a line like that, it'll change your life. Look, the boat's backing up and it's dumping the reel. It's unbelievable. Look at that. Strong? So strong. Maybe four, four at least, I'm gonna say. Jacob, go forward for a second, go forward. Go forward for a second, just for a second, all right? So I can drink. Perfect, perfect. All right. All right. So, you need to hydrate there for a second. You always want to keep the line tight. It's so important. And when I was drinking that, he had to go forward to keep that line tight. I can't reel and drink at the same time. I hooked this fish, he didn't even know it was hooked, it was just swimming. It ate the bait, it got tight on it, he was just swimming with the boat, it was crazy. That's when you know it's a big fish. When it doesn't care, there's a hook in his mouth. <sighs> when you fight a fish with stand-up tackle like this, you always want to have a little less drag than what you need. Use your hand as drag. Because if you ever lose your balance, especially with waves like this, sometimes you can't recover and you're going in the water. Okay, so you want to have a little less drag, so when that fish pulls, take your hand off, let him run. It's all for your safety. <laughs> this Penn International 7, he's got two speeds. Right now I'm in low gear. That's high gear, right? So I see how I can't even crank, I can barely crank, put in low gear, now I can gain line. That's a huge advantage of having a two-speed reel when, the big, when you have a big fish like this. Look at the size of that wave, oh my gosh. When, you, when you're fighting a fish that's this big, you have to use the two-speed reel. If you're using a single-speed reel, you're gonna get owned. Good job, Jacob, with the handle there, good job. that much pressure feel. Yeah, that's not that much. It was a bad spot on the line. Unbelievable. So disappointed. Well, let's keep trolling. pressure to make 50 pound. That's 50 pound, that should not have broke. So crushing. 
frustrating. So frustrating. Bad line. Not that much pressure. Just a bad spot on the line. Gosh, dude, it's miserable. That was a giant fish. That was a big fish. My heart was torn when I lost that fish. I couldn't believe it. When I got back to the dock, Richard and I talked about it. We looked at the line and we concluded that at some point during the fight, the marlin had swam where the line had caught something in the water, a log or some kind of debris, which had weakened the line and then made it break. If you want to have one of the greatest fishing experiences in your life, you definitely want to go to Tropic Star Lodge. Go check them out. The link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and write a comment below. Let us know what you want to see next.